Welcome to Good Morning Interbike. We're here at the 2013 Interbike Expo at the Mandalay Bay Convention Center, and we're joined this morning by Ken from DeHaan. Good morning. Good morning, David. Welcome to Good Morning Interbike. Thank you. It's always good to see you. But before we get started, let's just talk real briefly about uh, DeHaan and its history. Sure. Yeah, tell me a little bit about it. Well, DeHaan is uh, the global leader in folding bikes, and we really started uh, the whole movement when Dr. Hahn, when he was a laser physicist at Hughes Aircraft, was stuck in traffic and thinking there has got to be a better way to utilize mass transit. Yeah. And that really started, you know, he's, he's inventive, he's creative, and he came up with the first folder, which his brother Henry helped fund the company, and they, they were off uh, developing the uh, their, their line, and it all started in Northern California. I love, one of the things I love about this industry is things like you take a laser physicist who designs a folding bike. Yesterday I spoke with Tony Ellsworth. He's got a degree in international relations, and he's designing mountain bikes. So it's just- Isn't that remarkable? It, it's just one of those industries, right? Yeah. So um, Dr. Hahn uh, really revolutionized folding bikes. That's my understanding. But I, I got to ask you first, yes. before we even talk about folding bikes, that's not a folding bike. But, you know, here is something, again, it's revolutionary. And to me, it, it's amazing at a number of different levels. You know, we have, yes, it doesn't fold. Right. But these crank arms here, uh -huh. they pop off literally in seconds. So you have a bike that's a twofer. It's a scoot bike and it's a pedal bike. And the beauty of this is, A, it's extremely well made. Mm -hmm. It gets the Dahan brand out to families at an early, early age. Sure. And it's, in, it's super light. So you have a bike that, that does, does it all, and you have uh, probably a year or two more use out Absolutely. of this Absolutely, yeah, because a lot of kids, they'll start on a scoot bike, and then all of a sudden they, want, you know, they see their friends move into pedal bikes. That's right. And now all they, they've got that already in their garage, ready to go. What that, do we call this? This is called <laughs> the kid's bike. I'm sorry, where'd you come up with that name? That doesn't make sense to me. That's great. <laughs> I know, we, it, we really had to stretch for And that. attractive colors as well. So what's, yes. a, what's a price point on a bike like this that? This is uh, 239 Okay. And dealers have responded incredibly well to it. Really nice. So moving from the kid's bike to the sexy adult oh. bike. Let's talk about the Mew. The Mew. And you know me, I've, I've liked this bike for a very long time. Oh. <laughs> Th this bike, W what's there not to like, David? Right. It has everything that every gadget nut could ever want. Phenomenal technology. It's built on our uh, Mu frame, which is our latest fr lightest frame in, in the line. It has the Mu roll-off uh, gear system mm -hmm. on the rear hub there. It's 14 speeds, mm. easy to work. Gates belt drive, totally silent, 50,000 miles without missing a tick, mm -hmm. no grease, no muss, and we have the Magura hydraulic brakes, high-end uh, wheels, Schwabby tires. I mean, it is a killer you, bike. I, I, have, I have my concept of who this bike is for, but, but who would you say this bike is, is really made for? This is made for the person that really is looking for something unique and different, or we have Dahan lovers they're always looking for the next thing. Right. But there's also that, that uh, orthopedic surgeon that wants to be sort of ahead of the curve. Mm -hmm. But besides all that, this has, you know, you've seen our quick release pedals I have, before. Yeah. But this one, look. It's clipless. It's a clipless on one side and a platform on the other. Excellent idea. And, and for me, you know, for instance, when I travel a lot. And so a bike like this allows me to have a bike that I can take with me on the plane, yet still be able to go from business meeting to business meeting or to train. Oh, absolutely. While I'm on the road. And, and that's so, so many people these days, they want to stay active while they're traveling. And you know, our line of bikes, we have some phenomenal upper end bikes this year. They're light, you throw it in our, uh, our suitcase that we've made check it as luggage and off you go. You can even put some uh, clothing in with it. Uh, folding this bike, how long does it take? This one takes about uh, 10, 15 seconds. That's it? That's it. 
And it's ready to go. And it's ready to go. And then you see, I put the pedal back in this handy little case. Yeah. And tell us about the Easy here. Well, the Easy, it's small, compact, light, and absolutely easy to fold and unfold. Boom, just like that, folding it back. There again, pedals pop in and pop out. And it resides right back there. This is great for the individual that has a short commute. Mm -hmm. This design, this longitudinal fold is new to us and it's proven to be the strongest juncture out there for folding bikes. It's four times stronger than anything else out there. Wow. And we're going to actually be building on this platform. Look for next year a 20 inch uh, version of this. Nice. Now, obviously, as, as you mentioned, when Dr. Hahn originally developed his original folding bike, yeah. it was for commuting. Now, commuting is really part of the culture at Dahan, yes. and we were talking a while back about some things that you're doing with some bike lockers. Tell everybody about yeah. that. Sure. Uh, I have uh, followed the bike chair for a long time, and I think it's great, I think it's inventive, but I also feel that there's great limitation. It's really designed to go between point A and point B, and for a 30 minute use. I, being at Dahan, looking at our product, I was looking at sort of a broader scale. We have a product that's incredibly versatile, very light, and I was thinking, well, what if we created an easy access to our bikes in college campuses, in metro centers, uh, where you can just with your uh, smartphone, find it, rent it, pick it up, and now you have something that's light, mm -hmm. that you can pedal around and multi-speed, and when you can rent it by the half day, by the day, by the week, it's always available. And the best part is, you have all this gear, you're a tourist, you can dump it in the locker and it's, and it's safe. Great point, yeah. And then you come back, pop it back in the locker, and it's done. It'll have GPS and RFID also, so we'll always know where, where the bikes are. Sure, so uh, have, have you found any locations where you've implemented this? Well, uh, funny you should ask. Not implemented yet, but uh -huh. Syracuse University, right down near where I live, uh, has asked, well, I've met with them, they have great interest, mm -hmm. they've asked for a draft proposal. I have a feeling we're going to be moving forward there and it'll help us sort of tweak the, the technology. They'll be a great partner and from there, I already have a lot of interest, not That's just great. in the US, but globally. That is excellent. Well, good. Ken, it's always good to see you and always good to see the, the, the innovations from Dahan that just continue year after year. Thanks for joining us on Good Morning Interbike. Thank you so much. Oh, Andrew. it's it a, pleasure, a pleasure, Ken. Thank you so Take much. Care. And thanks for joining us again on Good Morning Interbike. We'll be back with more content from right here at the Mandalay Bay Convention Center at Interbike 2013. So stay subscribed to our YouTube channel. We'll see you again soon.